Hello, my beautiful signs of cancer. Welcome to 369 Divine Tarot. My name is Shartina, and as always, it is my pleasure to read for you today. Now, this reading is going to be for all cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I ask that you do keep in mind that this is a general reading for the collective of Gemini. So please only take what resonates with you and your situation, and please do not apply any parts that don't to your situation. This is not a gender specific reading. It can be for male or female energies and the character roles can be reversed as they play out in the cards. Attach them to your situation as they resonate. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also leave me a comment. I love reading the comments. Let me know if this message resonates with you, how this message resonates with you, and if it let me know the situation if you want to that this message may resonate with in your life at this given time all right so let's just go ahead and dive in the overall energy for your reading is compromise your angels are trying to tell you to compromise about some type of situation that you're very passionate about or have a very passionate point of view on right now your affirmation card says, let me be still today and listen to the truth in silence, all right? So your angels are telling you, or your spirit guides, your ancestors, they're telling you to take a second, think about what you have learned about what the other party has told you, and take a minute to ponder on it. Think about it. Think about it really, really hard because there is some truth in there. Even if this is a situation um, with like a, a work situation, which I don't feel like it is, but it could be with a family member. I'm picking up that this is a father and a daughter, a, a father and a daughter who, where the daughter wants to do something that she loves or she wants to go somewhere or something like that. But you don't really think that that would be a really good idea. Or maybe you have, um, someone that you care about in your life trying to go in a certain direction following their passion something that they're very um driven about and you're not sure that that is what's best for them but to be honest with you our own souls have our own individual journeys and in order for us to learn and grow we do have to take the path that feels right for us at the time because it could be our intuition that is pulling us and drawing us towards our life purpose there may be some lessons even if you know that this person may not succeed in in something um or maybe it's not um a good field or maybe you know that that field won't be around for long our lessons that we learn on our journeys prepare us for the next step of our journeys so be very very careful not to hinder someone's growth by trying to protect them too much. I feel like that's that's exactly what this energy feels like. It feels overprotective. All right, the advice that came out for you today is the King of Gabriel. It says generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. The message is keep your eyes on the big picture. And that kind of resonates with what I just mentioned. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. So I do feel like this is a father figure here or a husband energy or maybe just a loving um, uncle, cousin, friend. It really could be anybody. So even the first part of this message that I mentioned where I said it felt like a father and daughter energy, it could just be someone that's very close to you and you are genuinely concerned about the life choices that they're making right now because you're older and you have more wisdom and this may be a path that you have walked already but the cards are telling me that it leads to success for this person because this person is following their passion they're they're doing with their love and they're following their heart's desire now i'm picking up an energy of this could be someone that um, this could be relationship related as far as your person wanting to be in a relationship with somebody that probably you feel is no good for them, right? You probably feel like this person is not good enough for them and that they may be lowering their standards. But again, 
There are lessons in everything that we experience in our life. We never ever lose the opportunity to learn from our life experiences to, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. We never lose the opportunity to learn. You are never too old or too young to learn. And that's what everything is all about, right? All right. So I'm going to pull some tea leaf cards for you and dig into this situation a little bit more. Usually I try to pull three of them, but they come out as they want to. And in any given reading for any given sign, if the videos are longer or shorter, I don't try to keep them to a minimum or around the same length. Sometimes different amounts of cards come out for different energies different zodiac energies because those messages really need to get to them at the time all right so i feel like that is what is fair i feel like i am meant to give you the whole entire message that comes out for you and not limit it to time all right one more thing these readings that I'm doing right now, these messages, I usually do these as a short. I was going to do them every day and I tried to keep up with doing them every day, but all of the time what would happen is when I would get a message for you, say even if I did just pull the three cards, when I would get a message for you, it would be longer than 60 seconds. I couldn't fit all of that into 60 seconds. And again, I didn't want to limit you on your guidance or the information that you may need that helps you make the decisions along your path, helps you walk your path, um, because I just feel like that wouldn't be fair. So I'm bringing them here to videos now. And usually I try to do this again every single day. These might end up being weekly readings. I'm not sure yet, but right now, I was just called to give you these messages individually and not as earth, air, fire, or water. So I am going to be doing them as individual zodiac signs uh, for these messages now. And let's just go ahead and grab these tea leaves for you. Divine Spirit. What tea leaf messages? Ooh, all right. And exactly three popped out. Your first tea leaf card is the bull. It says, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. I got to see how that fits in here. You also have the rooster. It says, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Okay, now I get it. And last but not least, you have the nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. All right, so this is a family member. I still feel very strongly that this is a, a father and daughter or maybe a mother and son. But it says, do not back down from opposition and show strength and fortitude. But that came out in front of compromise all right so maybe you are to let your your loved one know exactly how you feel about the situation but stay open to compromise and don't try to control them don't be too too stubborn that you end up damaging the relationship with your family members here okay they might be in an arrogant energy they might be unwilling to compromise so i feel like your spirit guides are telling me to tell you to be the bigger person in the situation you do have more wisdom and sometimes we have to let people fall on their face if that's what's going to happen so that they can learn from their mistakes i know a lot of times we want to stop our children from making the same mistakes that we made because it could be very very frustrating when you know the path or you have the information that they need to be able to go around that and not experience the same level of um, not experience that pain that heartbreak that uh 
just the, the negative energy, you know, that, that sorrow, whatever the case may be, you want to stop them from making the same mistakes that you made. And that's your wisdom kicking in, but you have to let the egg hatch. You have to let this person walk their own path and have their own journey, as I said earlier. And it does look like in this particular situation, it will work out for the best, even if the best is them falling on their face and learning the lesson that they're meant to learn so that they can gain their own wisdom. Because if we actually do hold on too tightly to someone that we care about and we try to protect them so much that we end up smothering them, they won't gain the wisdom that you gained in life. And they deserve to have that, that knowledge and that wisdom too, because one day they're going to have to teach their own children or their, their own um, sisters and brothers, cousins, anybody, you know, really anybody. We interact with people on this planet on a daily basis most of the time. Even if it's just a phone call, that is an interaction. And they're going to need this knowledge later in life. They need to make this mistake. I feel like it might actually, for some of you, I feel like this person might actually be making a mistake. But for some of you, I feel like this is like, like okay, here's an example. Maybe somebody wants to be a ballerina, but you want them to be, get their CNA license or something like that and work in the medical field because the medical field would always be there. You know, but the person who is following their heart and going after their dreams for something that they want to do that is positive, like a, a, a sport or a hobby or something like that, something that brings their soul peace and joy and makes them feel fulfilled. I feel like that energy is going to succeed and it's going to be good for them and it's not a mistake and it will be profitable for them. I feel like some of you are worried that the path the, that the person you care about is not going to be financially stable for them, that it's not going to be profitable, that it's just something that they like to do and that they're taking the time, too much time out of their lives to put too much energy into something like a hobby and not, say, a trade or a career, all right? And for the other set of energy, I feel like someone is maybe dating someone that you don't approve of and you know that this person is full of crap and no good for them and you you're trying to stop your your baby from getting their heart broken but if we don't endure those heartbreaks we would never really know what true love feels like when it finally does come our way what molded you to be the good husband or wife or sister or brother, auntie, uncle, what molded you to be so great is the wisdom that you gained along your path to be able to share with the people that you love. But unfortunately, that's all that we can do is share our information. We can try to stop them, but then they also have free will. Free will is our birthright. So they have the ability to choose if they want to walk down that path or not kind of like a bit of constructive criticism, you know? They can either take it or leave it. The choice is theirs, but the choice is theirs, my beautiful Cancer. So if this message resonated with you, let me know what the situation is in the comments if you want to, all right? But this is all that I have for you today, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching. Please, once again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And tell me all about it in the comments. Now, remember, you've got this. You can do this. You can show restraint. You can compromise. All right? Until next time.